Okay, so Tiffany, you were involved in this original story and in the update more recently. Let's talk about what you know about what happened in the intervening time, because a viewer would have assumed, as I think the journalist did, after that first story that Health Canada was going to move quickly to really tighten what they could put on these labels. Yeah, I think that's what the perception was. Shortly after our investigation, Health Canada came out with a safety alert, letting consumers know that they were no longer allowing claims on certain children's homeopathic products without any scientific evidence. So that, that was expected to come into effect last summer. So it sounded like big changes were on their way, that they were really paying attention to this issue. Um, th this last couple months, I decided to just kind of check in on where that was, started having a look at the drugstore shelves. Didn't really look like there was much change going on. And do you have a sense of whether there was pushback in the industry? You know, Health Canada comes out and says, we're going to change this. You think then, okay, here we go. A couple of months, we're going to see that. Instead of two years later, you're still seeing the same products labeled the same way. Yeah, so after, after noticing on the shelves that there wasn't much difference, I got in touch with Health Canada and asked them to share with me exactly what the labeling changes were that they told government, uh, sorry, they told industry they were expecting. Uh, they sent the, the new labeling rules to me and it looked like it wasn't as, it wasn't as strong as what they first came out the gate saying it was going to be. There were, would be labeling changes, but now it was looking more like there would be a disclaimer that would be required. They'd no longer be allowed to say words like effective, but they could still put the condition that, that it, the product was supposed to treat, so such as cough. I was curious as to why why those changes happened. I actually got my hands on a letter that was sent from the Homeopathic Association to Health Canada um, shortly after their announcement. Homeopathic Association said to Health Canada they were concerned that that initial announcement was made without consulting them. Hmm. They laid that out very clearly. They also laid out a recent meeting that they had had with Health Canada talking about what those new labels should look like and, and said to them that they thought that the addition of words to the to the labels would be preferable to the removal of things from the labels. And so where we stand now, you were just showing me this product you just bought, still says this is pain and fever relief. So I'm a young parent, my child's not feeling well, I want something natural. Pain and fever relief, great, except there's nothing that backs this up. And this seems like fever is not a small thing. Yeah, so, so the medical experts we talked to were really concerned about products claiming that it could effectively treat a fever with no scientific evidence to back that. It's actually why we decided to try and license a fever product. Wanted to see if Health Canada would license something that was perceived as a little bit higher risk by medical experts. And so we were surprised when they did. Um, I was surprised to find this product still on the shelf. And it turns out that products claiming to treat fever in children are exempt from these new labeling rules. They really only cover children's cough, cold, and, and flu products for children under 12. And have you talked to medical professionals who are uncomfortable with the way this looks? Yeah, they're definitely uncomfortable with the fact that those products can still say effective relief. When I asked Health Canada about it, they said to me, well, there is now a disclaimer on the product that says if a fever persists that you should go see a medical expert. But they say that's not good enough. I mean, parents need to know that what they're buying will actually do what it's claiming it can do. Tiffany, thanks for this. Yeah, absolutely.